Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Sergeant Lynn Crickton County is here. Here's video two. So this is a side profile view of a Sasquatch behind a tree in the bushes. But you can see there dead center. You can see those fang teeth on the bottom there. Um, so uh, I'm going to mark up here. See his teeth right there. See him right there at the <clears throat> end of his lips. And then there's his other teeth like that. All right. There's the bridge of his nose. His eyes are right there under the. Uh, I'd say he's got his he's got his lens nocturnal uh, shade lens on right there. There's his neck. He's behind that tree right there. <clears throat> I'm going to try to lighten that up to where we can get a better look at his face. That's definitely a Sasquatch. And it's, uh, hopefully, I got to go back through the footage. Hopefully, I got a better shot. Um, uh, a better shot of him, uh, showing more of his body. But we'll see. If I take a full contrast, you can. Okay, now that I took it full contrast, I can see here a little bit better that that's not a side profile view. That's him looking straight at me. Sure is. You see his mouth there. But yeah, he's looking right at me. His eye is right there. Let me get a mark up. Okay. His one eye is right there. He's barely looking right there. And then there's his nose. All right. He's got his jaw. Uh like it's cinched over like he's snar nar snarling at me or something because if you look right here's that massive tooth up front so his next massive tooth if you go symmetrically uh i can't really tell it's either back here or it's over here if it's over here, that means he's got his jaw sideways, one way or the other, uh, to match that tooth. But yeah, he's looking, he's not side profile view, he's looking straight at me. Isn't that something? Unbelievable. And he's got a baby on his head. Look at that other little eyeball up there. That's the baby's eyeball resting on top of his head. Watching me. <laughs> wow. Check it out. I would say... Uh... I would say his other tooth is right here, but it's missing. I would say he's lost a tooth that's supposed to be right there. He, because if you look at this uh, down around that molar or whatever you want to call it, I don't know what kind of tooth that is, a fang tooth. The way that it's shaped is like it would be on the right side of his mouth. Uh, 
right? Because of the way that's shaped down. If there was another tooth this way, it would be shaped this way. But it's not. It's, uh, it's shaped this way, so that has to be the outer tooth. So, and then with this jaw line like that, there would have to be, it almost have to be another one right there to be symmetric. And it's missing. He is missing that tooth. Or it's fell out, or what? I can't really tell. But yeah, I think he's missing a tooth. That is definitely a Sasquatch, folks. Look at that eye. Way back in there. Watching me. Check it out. This was recorded two days ago. I've not seen this Sasquatch on my property, so... This is the first time for this being. I hope he's not real aggressive. Uh, hopefully I'll get to see some more of him this summer. Um, and I'll get some more images of him. Isn't that something? Let me go back to enhancements. And see. Uh. What else we can pull out of the image? <clears throat> Let's start back over real quick. See, when you first look at it, it looks like a side profile view. You can't see him straight on there. It kind of looks like he's sitting, he's standing sideways. But once you uh, reverse the uh, the polarity of the image, more so to speak, uh, you can see that it it pulls the the uh, the rest of the image out yeah you can start to see him the other way but. okay we'll move on to the next image yeah check this little guy out so this one's got like a chimpanzee type look he's got like a whiteness around his eyes um like a chimp type look and he's got another Sasquatch standing up over top of him, uh, behind him there. I'm going to uh, go to enhancement a little bit just to try to lighten up the image a little bit. Try to get some more detail out of this. Um, that's a pretty good image. Folks, these Sasquatches are real. They're, 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 they're flesh and bone beings. They are an, an ape race species in this country. Every continent's got an ape like species. Uh, if I had to guess, it's pro they're probably in their Stone Age. But, but, I, I say that. Uh, Sparingly, but they are very intelligent beings. They are highly intelligent. In some ways, they surpass us in intelligence. Because, you know, they, they live off the land. They, you know, they, they don't have a huge... Matter of fact, they have a zero carbon footprint besides maybe farting every once in a while. They're not hurting the ozone layers. Um, you know, these beings are... They're masters of their environment. They're not attacking humans, uh, except maybe on a certain case, case by case basis. But 
uh, yeah, I mean, they're uh, on, you know, at, uh, mostly they are a peaceful being, uh, race of beings. And people say, well, there's a correlation between UFOs and Sasquatch, right? Well, there's a correlation between UFOs and humans. If UFOs are coming here as a higher intelligence to observe the life on this planet, they wouldn't just be observing humans, they'd be observing Sasquatch too. So they're subject to abductions just like humans are. So it's not like they are uh, out of space or from a different uh, galaxy or none of that stuff. They're just, uh, they are just a, a mammal species on this planet trying to survive and take care of their family, you know. Um, and they're being abducted just like we are. Okay, so I'm going to lighten this up a little bit. There we go. It's about as good as I'm going to get this, I think. Um, okay, let me go to markup. Okay, first off, we got, this is like a baboon type uh, Sasquatch genetics. So its face is like that, its mouth, its eyes, it still has a nocturnal shade lens, but still got that white whiteness around its eye. That is hair, that's not a, a white pupil or nothing. You know, that's, that's a uh, hair right there. Um, and then you got, and I guess that would be considered, uh, you know, uh, with that whiteness around the eye, that would help absorb the light. If you was to shine a flashlight on it, it wouldn't reflect as much light, you know. So, and then you got another Sasquatch here that's gray. And he's barely looking over this vegetation right here. And you can see his his nocturnal shade lenses are right there. He's observing me over that foliage there. And then he's got a baby, or she, on its back. And you see its nocturnal lenses right there. All right, they're just, it's observing me right there from the tree. So if this is, uh, let me take us off here. So this is two different races of uh, two different races of Sasquatch, right? This one here and this one here are different, but they are interbreeding. I guess you know here in West Virginia that there are probably not very many Sasquatches. Apparently, uh, the BFRO estimate there's a family of Sasquatch per county. Estimated 200 Sasquatches in the whole state is what they estimate. So these different species are interbreeding. And you can see his mouth structure and his hair and his coloration is totally different than this Sasquatch. But then their baby will grow up being a different, a hybrid of the two. So that's what's going on. Uh, but yeah, look at that footage. That's pretty clear footage, man. Definitely tell the Sasquatch. Not pareidolia. Uh, nature don't give you pareidolia like that. You see the hair on the side of his head there. Okay, we'll go to the next image. It's a pretty good one. This is at night time. Um, which there's a couple around that tree is a side profile view of a couple of them. You can see the camera's not right on them, so, or the light is not right on them, so I didn't get very good images of them. There's one right here. Okay, right here's a Sasquatch. 
he's hiding right behind that little bit of vegetation. You can see his eyes right there. Okay, I'm going to go to enhancements on this one because there's another Sasquatch standing right behind him in that vegetation, right behind in the shadows there. Um, but then I want to show you a couple other pictures I got of this same spot, but it's pretty up close, so you'll see the Sasquatch is pr uh, pretty good there. We'll get to that next. So I'm going to lighten this up just a hair. Let me see. Okay, so you see the one right there. You can make out his facial features. And then this one right here. They're hiding in there. <clears throat> Just back in the shadows behind the tree there. The bulk of their bodies behind that tree. There might be another one right there. Okay, there's his face. Um, they're just hiding right in the shadows. Let's see about this one. This was recorded a couple nights ago, so... You can see him. He's right down in the brush. Check him out. Wow. He's got a he's got a dark face and hair all over his body. That Sasquatch does. Looks like there's one right beside him too. There he is, right there. He's got a little gray-looking goatee. That one does. Um. So let me see if I can. Put a little bit more definition on this. I would say these guys are a, a sibling of some sorts. Okay, I'm going to go to markup real quick. Okay, so you can see there's his shoulder, right? And there's his head. Like so. You see his ridge brow, his eyes, his nose, his mouth. But then over here you see this guy's eyes hot, hiding right there behind that branch. And you see, that, look how big that guy's pupil is. There's his nose. And then there's a gray area, his gray beard. And there's his mouth. His hair is like that. There's a little baby juvenile. Not a baby, but a, a young juvenile standing right there with its nocturnal shade lens on. And then here's a baby right here. I'm standing on top of his head. So I'm going to remove the markups and then let you see all this without the markups on. See that guy's face? Right there. Alright. Here's the, the baby. And the young juvenile standing up behind him. And then here's the the main male. Standing off just in the dark down in the ditch line. Uh, and take some of that lightness out of it. Maybe get some better detail. that way um, now somebody that's good at, at filming and stuff they would be able to get this detail out a lot better than me you know but I just do the best I can with what I got 
I'll stick it up on the channel and uh, save the footage. I got a big database building up. It's piling up more and more all the time. But yeah, check them out. Now you can see that face coming in a lot better back here. Look, there's another Sasquatch right there. Standing up behind the juvenile right there. See? And then there's the juvenile with his mouth open. And there's the male. And the grandpa. Anyways. <clears throat> oh, shit. There we go. Let's go to the next image here. And that was a close up of the other one. Just down in that brush, you know. I'd like to try to clean that one up. See a little bit of its face there. See both its eyes and its nose and its mouth. There's another one right there. Two of them there. In the in the brush, sitting in the brush. There's another one right there. They get in that brush, and that thick brush, man, it's hard to get any kind of good footage on them at night. They just hide so well. Yeah, they're just sitting in the brush. Check them out. One, two, let's see, one, two, three of them in there. Look at the eyes on that. Let's see, there's one right there. I'm not going to spend too much time on that one. See the male there? See him starting to show up there in the middle? There's his head. There's his eyes. There's his mouth. There's his arm. He's holding a baby right here. He's got one. See his feet right there? That's what's intriguing about these beings. Is they got that. It's like a thumb on their feet, right? Right there. It offsets sideways, and then there's its fingers, or its toes. That's his back leg, and they work like a hand. They can hang from treetops and all kind of hang from tree branches and stuff like that. Okay, that's his back foot right there. He's got his arm like this. He's holding some Sasquatches, uh, babies right there. Um, looks like there's another little baby right here. Here's his eyes. He's got his nocturnal shade mental. 
And there's his little foot. You can see his little toe sticking out there. Like that. And he's got his little hand up here gripping this little tree. Or whatever he is. He's just sitting there. But yeah, they're, uh, they blend in so well, man. It's, it's amazing. It really is. But that little foot right there is just it's something. It's quite something. See it right there. There's a junk hanging back there. Then there's a little juvenile. It's kind of a pixelated because it's at night. But oh, and here's another little juvenile right here standing up. But they're standing in next to the tree. That might be another adult standing right there. I can't tell. Or a young juvenile. They are uh, right next to that tree. One right there. They just hide so well. Let's see here. Look at this one in the bush right there. With just his head show. They're just all through this footage, man. Take me days to go through this footage. There. Look at that big one right there. That big Sasquatch right there in the middle. Looking, peering right between the vegetation. Check him out. Man, he's a big one too. Big sucker. Uh. There's one eye, his nose, his other eye. There's his mouth. His big head. Little juvenile on top. Using that vegetation to hide. Looks like there's another baby there on the ground there. Masters of disguise, that's for sure. Let's see here. There's one right there. There's one's head right there. It's sticking up out of the bush. Well hidden in the bushes. But you can see his, his, eye, his uh, eyebrow, eyebrow ridge. His nose and his eyes right there. In the bush. Uh, let's see here. Up here you can see a little juvenile looking down at me. He's got a little bit of glare coming off his eye. And then here's another side profile view of a Sasquatch right there. And there is, uh, let's see, I'm gonna mark up. Right here, you got an eye and an eye. And then there's the nose, there's the forehead, uh, a, a face looking at you right there. It. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that one. A lot of footage to go through. 
Okay, here was that one image I showed you earlier. Okay, I've not done any enhancements to this yet on this one, but you see his eyes right there, right? And his nose. See his eyes and his nose? Okay, and then the next frame over, he stands up. You see his eyes and his nose right there as he stands up. Sitting down, stands up, you see his eyes going up. That's not pareidolia, folks. That's his eyes and his whole face moving. Okay. And we'll go to markup on this one. All right. First off, you see a Sasquatch sitting back there, peering around the tree. Right? Looking way back in there. That's one. The second one is right here. You see his nose. Here's his eyes. There's his mouth. And this over here is his shoulder, right, right here. Here's his shoulder as he's leaning down into that tree, right, looking at him. Using, here's his teeth. You can see his teeth there a little bit. I was wrong about his nose position there. Hold on just a second. His nose position is right there. Right. And then here's his mouth. You can see his teeth there a little bit. And then there's his eye. And it's a side profile, or not a side profile. He's looking straight at it, but he's using this tree right here to break up his outline. But here's his back and his arm right there, his shoulder. He's leaning in. Big Sasquatch. And according to his facial expressions, he doesn't look hostile towards me, that's for sure. And I could be wrong. Um, but, yeah, he don't look like one of the hostile. He looks like he's smiling. And I'm sure there's some young ones there with him. Well, I know there is, because there's one back here around the other tree. That's just a close-up of his face there a little bit. Um, let me see here. Anyways, we know we know the deal. I'm just going to move on. Um, that right there looks like a little juvenile right there. Let's see here. Yeah, this is a, there's a face, there's a young juvenile right there in the brush. Just too much uh, coloration in it to do anything with it. Um, I don't know if I can revert it back. I can't. That's a juvenile right there. And that's the dad. Let me see if I can find the original. That one ain't 
here and you know. There's one right there behind him, peering around the tree looking at me. There's one right up above him there. Right there. Anyways, this video is starting to run long, so I want to finish it right there. But, uh, yeah, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Peace.